Hey guys, this is Danks87. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a rotating spike wheel. It's very cool, looks very cool, and uh, kills you, best of all. Okay, so what you're going to need is a motor bolt, kill tweaker, player sensor, and a rotating disc. This is made not so differently to the rolling dice. So first of all, we're going to get out our rotating disc. Just going to pop that down. And then we're going to change the speed setting very, very slowly at the moment, just to a 20 just so to help us put on our decoration. So I'm going to go all the way down and get our spike decoration. Okay, so around the, decor uh, the rotating disc there are actually flat surfaces and as you can see as I move from side to side you can see it jumping to the next flat surface. So we need to get it around in the middle, let that travel round about there and then find the next middle of the next flat stage making sure it's flat and continue this all the way round until we get a full circle of our spikes now this can take some time to get really perfect but it's worth spending your time on it because it's the only time you're actually going to have to do it because later on you can just copy and paste Okay, now we can speed up to around 100. This is just its, it's general rotation. You can change that to whatever you want. Next up we need a sticker panel. Make that roughly the same size of the, the whole thing itself, including the spiked areas. And we need that to be completely invisible, so reduce its occupancy to zero. Next up we need a microchip in the center of the sticker panel. And we need to stick the sticker panel to the rotating disc. Okay, so to make it kill, we put a player sensor on that is around its whole point. So around the whole thing, the sensors. And we need a kill tweaker. Could use an impact sensor to only sense players, but I tend to go with the sensor instead. Okay, so put down your kill tweaker and use the spike effect and only activating player. Pick them up together. Okay, so that makes it kill us. Okay, now we need the basic shape. So I'm going to use cardboard at the moment. I'm going to make it roughly this size. I'm going to make a long stick. Okay. And now stick that to itself so it's all one piece. Going to use 60% angle snap. We're going to copy it. We put it down at this angle. Obviously, you can have as many as you want. I'm just going to go with three pronged. One roughly there. It's not very equal, but you know, you, you can do better. Um, I'm just going to make it metal as well. We need a sticker panel in front of it. We need to make that completely invisible and a static object. Next up we need to put our motor bolt through the sticker panel into the metal itself. And change the speed of that to whichever speed you want uh, and make it invisible. There you have it. It's quite basic at the moment but it works. What I tend to do is use, um, instead of using the metal itself, I make the metal invisible using an occupancy tweaker down to 0% so that's completely invisible and then I put on sticker panels that go to each. So a sticker panel from the middle up to the first one, make that completely invisible 
and then add in decorations so the tubes are the best I find for this go all the way down to the tubes and pop the tubes on so we pop that down and then we try and match the colour to the um, same colour as the spikes then all we do is copy that and put them down to each of the other spikes then after you've done that completely we just centre up the bolt in the middle and then put another decoration into the background into the same one that we put the pipes put one in the middle just to seal it all off about there and now we have a more decorative style of no we need to stick that pipes as well to it there we go now we have a more decorative one well thanks for watching guys keep tuned for more